Being a first time mum, I was really anxious about my baby's health. So for me, breastfeeding was the only thing I could do to protect him. Giving the baby the nutrients from the breast milk and all those good immunity boosters is the main thing that any mother wants for, for their child. Thinking back to my first child, I actually felt like I wasn't good enough. Something that's supposed to be natural, like as a woman, as a mother, and to not feel adequate was, was a lot. And then you almost feel that you are doing a disservice to your child because you have birthed them, you have, you know, grown them for nine months. And then the last hurdle is feeding them. The day that I was told that I had to stop breastfeeding Freya, I really felt like my body had failed me and my body had failed my child because I had to stop breastfeeding and I couldn't give her what I knew to be the best start in life. If you can't breastfeed and you're solely giving formula, you know, it's like nutritionally great, but it is lacking in good microorganisms, which is so important for the baby's microbiome. It would be absolutely amazing to have something like that. So our mission at Booby Biome is for every parent, regardless of their gender, their socioeconomic background or their ethnicity, to provide their baby with a breast milk microbiome to improve the health of generations to come. In our journey, there's no other name which describes exactly what we do. Parents love it, nurses love it, everyone remembers us and I don't think we're ever going to change it. I am on the board of Booby Biome, mostly because I am so passionate about what they're building and see it as being something that could revolutionise infant feeding. So when I met Booby Biome, I was actually pregnant with my first child. And so I had even more of an invested interest in what people rarely talk about, which is that fourth trimester. Trying to recover puts a huge strain on your body. And that's why people call it the fourth trimester, because there's not really three trimesters in giving birth to a child. There's the bit that comes after as well, which people forget about. They think that once you've got this baby and this little bundle of joy, like that's it, your, your world is focused on them. But it's so tough. When they told me about what they're building and the fact that it's going to enable people to get the full benefit of breast milk, even in the absence of being able to breastfeed, I just thought this was such an incredible asset to mums in that fourth trimester. So we are developing the only supplement which will contain beneficial bacteria which we've isolated from breast milk. It's multi-strain to really mimic this complex ecosystem and also will contain these particular prebiotic sugars called human milk oligosaccharides to ensure that this consortia that we want to grow actually can successfully colonise the infant gut. Booby Biome had isolated some beneficial, some good bacteria from breast milk that was going to be used to develop a product for babies that haven't had access to breast milk to help them have good gut health and a healthy immune system. So Booby Biome approached us to help with developing a manufacturing process that could be then scaled up towards commercial production. I think it's a unique time to have met the team when I was pregnant, uh, to be able to donate my breast milk to such an incredible cause, to learn more with them about the infant breast microbiome, all of these different things. I can't speak more highly of what is being built and the need for it. If Booby Biome had existed when I couldn't give Freya access to my breast milk, I, without a question, would have used it. The fact that they even thought about being able to add these sort of, you know, microbiomes into the breast milk is just fantastic. And knowing that it's not just solely dependent on the breast milk and there is supplements with baby can have to help is just really reassuring. We have a big ambition at Ruby Biome and when it comes to product development, it doesn't stop after this product. We have huge plans to expand. It's very important for us to have a product that actually works. And so really the next steps of our journey is to conduct clinical trials. So part of our work with CPI will be continuing the work that they previously started in our last grant project, optimizing the culturing technique for our strains, fermentation of our strains from lab scale to manufacturing scale, looking into ways to optimize the way in which we can culture them economically and sustainably. This project aligns really well with CPI's vision and mission because we're helping to improve the health 
health of babies who are going to grow up to be our future generations. The long lasting impact of this is going to be tremendous. We're really excited to help to take this product to the next stage. So we'll be working with Booby Bio, helping to develop the manufacturing process further and help to get this really exciting product to market. We got to see the facilities at CPI and they really are fantastic. They're so modern and the expertise that they have is world class. Worked really well with them because they're a really creative and intelligent bunch of people. We really enjoyed working with them and we're excited to keep going. So I feel really privileged to be working on something that is going to help so many people, especially for a population of people that tend to be overlooked. The research that we're doing and the work that I do on a day-to-day -day basis is having real-life impacts on people and that is so incredibly rewarding and I'm so privileged to be in this position. Without all the mothers who've donated their milk, we couldn't be doing this research. As a scientist, to be able to work on such cutting-edge research on a field that is very important to so many women is something that I just love doing. I think the impact of this is immeasurable. I'm really, really excited to see how much impact we can have with this product. And it's also so great doing this with Lydia and Tara. Lydia comes at this from the microbiology side, Tara the data science, and me as the chemist and biophysicist. And at the end of the day, we also have so much fun building something that's going to change the world.